happy to welcome in the new head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders, Josh McDaniels, joining us here. Coach, thanks so much for taking the time. Great to have you here with us. Great to be on with you. I'm looking forward to it. So uh, congratulations. And, and I guess I just want to start with this coach. You, you've sat in this head coach seat before. So how are these first couple weeks different for you this time around? Uh, they're, they're a lot different, honestly. I mean, uh, <clears throat> if you've never done it before, there's just so many unknowns uh, and so many experiences that you're, you're going through for the first time. And you know, you have this to-do list that seems like it only gets longer every single day mm -hmm. and you can never really kind of cross any of them off. And so kind of having, having some experience doing it before and learning from that experience, it's been helpful uh, for me and for, uh, for Dave Ziegler, uh, just as we've tried to acclimate here, uh, get our, our staff together, um, you know, meet, meet some of the players uh, try to connect with them and really try to do a good job of, uh, you know, fitting into the organization, uh, meeting all the different people and all the different, uh, you know, aspects of, of, uh, of this place. And uh, they've been great. And we've just tried to, you know, continue to put one day in front, you know, in front of the next and make progress. Um, and we feel like we're doing that. Josh, really appreciate you joining us. And, uh, you know, one of the many things I admire about your career uh, competing against you and, and mostly losing to you for so many years is your your ability to develop players like the headlines of your career is Tom Brady but I always thought you did an incredible job with the down the line guys and made them winning players knowing that you're going to take that same mindset to Vegas is there a couple of guys that you're excited to work with that maybe are a little bit under the radar you know that I appreciate you saying that Mike and um, you know I I think for me, my mindset has always been the same um, to treat each player as an opportunity um, as a coach to really try to work on their, on their craft and their skills um, to try to create winning habits. And, you know, I think the thing that I really focus on is, is our staff and trying to get them to understand that uh, no player on our roster is a finished product. Uh, we have a lot of guys with some experience and we have some guys with very little experience. And so, um, I've always seen it as our job to try to make each man better, whether it would be a Tom Brady or a rookie quarterback like Mac Jones. And then, you know, in our case here, we have, you know, Derek's, you know, got a lot of experience, but there's other players on this roster um, that don't. And so we're eager uh, to try to work with each guy as we get an opportunity to do that this spring and summer uh, to try to see what we can do. But, you know, coaches are teachers and, if we can't develop them, you know, then, then the, the chain that you really need to make whole, you know, as an organization, when you bring players in and then uh, try to, you know, get, get them to reach their potential, uh, we're not really doing a good enough job of that if we, if we can't do that. So I kind of look at it, the whole roster, whether they've been successful or not, we got guys like Hunter that's been in the Pro Bowl or uh, Darren Waller and Colton Miller. These guys have had really good seasons uh, so far. I mean, I'm just as eager to work with them as I am uh, the young rookies that we're going to bring in, in in April. Coach, can you talk a little bit about Derek Carr and and what you're looking forward to in terms of working with him? I know he's he's a guy that Mike and I have talked a lot about in this space during the season and how we really felt like he exemplified so much positive leadership last season. Um, what are your thoughts on on building out your relationship and working with Carr? Yeah, really excited. Um, I've had the opportunity already to speak with him multiple times and just get to know him as a person. And um, you can tell that, that he has his priorities straight. He's a really, uh, he's a good dad. He's a good husband. And, um, and he's a good football player that's serious about his profession and, and trying to improve and make this team the best that he can make it. And, um, you know, he's got a maturity about him. He's got wisdom uh, because he's lived through a lot of different experiences. Um, you know, he's very intelligent, very competitive, very driven. And so it, it, uh, it's a really, I feel like it's a really good match for, for us and what we're going to try to do here offensively. And, um, you know, it'll, it'll be a, it'll be a work, uh, in progress that we're looking forward to here as we, you know, get to get into the each phase of the off season and build on, on that, you know, little by little, uh, as we head towards training camp, but been, been very impressed, uh, so far, uh, with him, as a person and as a leader and 
uh, I can see why he's been successful, and we're looking forward to to, to getting to work with him. <clears throat> Josh, there's a, you know, sort of a school of thought out there about some of the things that happened with the organization before he got there and it's Vegas, and it's a hard place to win because there's a lot of distractions. Um, do you have to look at things slightly different, maybe the schedule, things like that, um, because the environment is so unique where you guys are located? I think there's distractions everywhere. I think there's things that come up, you know, in any city in the NFL that, you know, we, we just got to do a good job of educating, um, you know, our, our players and, and our staff on that. I mean, I don't think Vegas is – I know what Vegas, you know, is in terms of the way it's perceived, but um, the people I've met out here have been fabulous. The The places I've been have been incredible, and uh, the people are so excited to have this football team here. Um you know, we're just going to try to do what we've always done where I've been is, you know, just, you know, make sure we educate everybody about making good choices. Um, you know, whether we're here or at home in Florida or Ohio or Pennsylvania or wherever we live uh, in the off season or in the downtime, um, you know, and just doing doing the right things, you know. And I, mean, I know that's important to Mr. Davis. It's important to me uh, that we represent, um, you know, this team, this organization, the history of this team and organization, this city, uh, and all of Raider Nation the right way. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. But you mentioned uh, not long ago that as coaches, you're teachers. And I just wonder, can can you pull back that curtain a little bit and maybe give us a story or two as to how you've been able to connect with different players over the years? Because everybody has a different personality and you have to do different things to to reach different guys and, and help them. Uh, you know, climb the mountain and, and get as far as they'd like to go in their own careers. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I'm not sure I could have any bigger swing than I've had maybe in the last three seasons that I've been in the NFL, um, you know, in terms of exposure to different, um, you know, to, to different experiences or different experience levels, you know, going from Tom in 2019 who, you know, that was kind of, you know, uh, just being able to, to manage, um, you know, him and his body and making sure he was good to go. I mean, certainly knew how to prepare by then, obviously, in, in year 20 for him and, you know, knowing, knowing what to do and what to expect. And then, you know, having the great opportunity to work with Cam Newton uh, in, t- in 2020, you know, very short time period in the off season, um, but but being able to kind of, really continued to, to drip water on the rock as we went into the regular season and continue to build our relationship, build his foundation in our system as we move through the year. Um, and then just, you know, and do what he needed from us, you know, which was different than the year before because Tom had had so many years in our system and then going from cam in 2020 to Mac in 2021, you know, which is a, um, you know, a, a young player, uh, with, you know, very little experience in the NFL, obviously, and just pouring into him and finding out, you know, the way he learns best, how he, how he needs you to respond to him in times of adversity, um, you know, how you need to push him a little differently than maybe somebody else. Um, You know, that's our job though. You know, there's so many different players uh, that we interact with each day. Uh, They're at varying different levels of experience. They're at different levels of, understanding some of them learn better from the film some of them learn better from the board some of them learn better on the field and so I think the most important thing we can do is listen pay attention understand how the players uh, how we can reach the players best and most effectively and then try to set our our schedule to do so and and try to get the max out of each guy yeah coach one last question for us um coach Belichick um can you kind of summarize, you know, the impact he's had on your career and, and any wisdom he gave you uh, as you were leaving? Yeah, I would it, uh, certainly. Uh, it would be hard to measure uh, the impact he's had on me. Um, you know, he, he gave me a great opportunity to learn this level and this game um, through a lot of different uh, avenues. You know, I started, uh, got some experience quickly in the personnel department, on the scouting side and had an understanding of how that worked and fit into the organization, then was able to, uh, you know, be around one of the best defensive staffs I've ever been around 
um, you know, in, in any year of, of my experience with Romeo and Bill and Eric and Rob Ryan and Pepper Johnson in 02 and 03, and then being able to switch over on the offensive side in 04 and try to give the offensive – uh, the de- of the offensive guys that I was coaching a defensive perspective and, you know, try to create the bond with Tom and the quarterbacks and, and our group on the other side of the ball. So, you know, it was, uh, I feel like he, he gave me an opportunity to kind of have a peek into, into each area of the organization that's really necessary to, you know, to understand and have success as a head coach. And, um, you know, he's just been so giving to me of his time, um, any questions or, or things that I may not have known, um, he's been willing to share with me uh, information and uh, those kind of things. He's he's a great listener, and so he, he wants to try to help you and make you the best he can make you, and uh, I certainly owe him a tremendous amount of credit for any success I've had in my career um, because he certainly uh, has been that way for me. And when I, you know, he, he – I know he'll 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 want us to do well out here. Uh, other than we when we play uh, New England, which <laughs> I know we play them this year, um, you know, and that's the way it should be. You know, uh, I I want them to do the best that they can do, and um, you know, and and when you leave on the right terms and you do the right things and you treat people the right way, which I think was a two way street here uh, in this situation. Um, I think there's there's only uh, good feelings on both sides and. Um, I'll use them as a uh, as a reference, as I, if I can, if it's something that I'm not sure about, um, and and I'm sure he'd be willing to help in any situation he felt he could. So, um, you know, proud of our relationship, proud of the way uh, that that we handled that, and and looking forward to competing against each other this year. Like you said, you'll root for each other, except when you play each other. Uh, Josh McDaniels, we know you have a lengthy to-do list and it only gets longer. So we really appreciate your hanging out and taking some time with us here today. No problem. Really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. That is. Thanks, Josh. Las Vegas Raiders head coach, Josh McDaniels, joining us here on the 33rd team. And uh, Mike, you know, it's a lengthy to-do list this time of season. So (laughs) it may be dubbed the off season, but candidly sometimes it's probably busier than the regular season in some ways yeah and you know when you get there you know you're competing in a free agent market for coaches and uh it's uh i can understand what he's saying like you walk in and you think you have five things to do but you have 25 when the people you think you can get you can't get and then away you go 